Our next speaker is a Phoenix native. She has her bachelor's in geological sciences and her master's in education, both from Arizona State University. She currently shares her passion for earth and space sciences by teaching at Westwood High School in Mesa. Ladies and gentlemen, Sarah Gray. Thank you. Um, hello, my name is Sarah Gray. As I just had that wonderful introduction. Um, a lot of my friends know me as the rock girl, or the weird one that likes rocks, or makes weird noises at the outcrops while we're on road trips. Um, I fell in love with geology many years ago. Actually, it was in my middle school classroom. We first started learning about volcanoes, and I was hooked. Um, I then started taking more advanced earth science classes when I was in high school. That was where I met the woman who I wanted to be when I grew up. My earth science teacher, Mrs. Fraser, was that woman. She inspired me not to be afraid of loving natural disasters and to share my past passion for geology with others. And what a perfect state to fall in love with, with rocks in. Yeah. Here in Arizona, we have Camelback Mountain. This is a beautiful mountain that has sedimentary and igneous rocks. We have the Superstition Mountains, an ancient volcanic caldera, and of course, the Grand Canyon, which is one of the best preserved examples of geologic time. After high school, I went on and got my bachelor's degree in geological sciences and then went on to get my master's in education. I was ready to teach the world about earth science and inspire the next generation of geoscientists. What I didn't realize was that I had just stepped into one of the world's most difficult jobs in a state where we are the top five lowest teacher salaries and we are also the top five for teacher shortages, especially in the STEM fields. I can rant for a while about how awful that statistics are for teachers here in Arizona, but I didn't come here for that. I came here to talk about my students, because our children are the future. I currently work at a Title I school. That means that a high percentage of my students come from low-income families and get a free or reduced lunch. I also teach earth science, which is the class where some of the lowest students are placed. My classes have some of the largest numbers of students with learning disabilities, English language learners, and members of, um, of the resource classes. Um, because this is one of the classes that is less heavy in mathematics. I also get a lot of students who just don't care about science at all. They are in my class to get a grade so that they can meet the requirements to graduate. With these facts in mind, you can see why I have a difficult job. But it is the successes from these students that really make my day. When I have students telling me things like, oh, that makes sense now, or I learned something today, or you make science fun, yeah. it warms my heart more than anything. Yeah. I know. <laughs> uh, they truly are the reason that I am teaching. Even with these students, um, even with these statistics in my classroom, I still get a few students who are in love with science and plan to go into the field when they finish high school. I wanted to share a few of these examples today. First, last year I had a female Hispanic student who wanted to be an astronaut. Yes. She is one of the hardest working students I have ever had and I can't wait to see where she goes in her future. Next, I have a senior who not only is a soccer and tra track state qualifier, but he has a full scholarship to Mesa Community College. Yes. He is also interested in going into nuclear engineering. Yes. Last but not least, 
I have a student who not only has made up his own alien language, but dreams of going to Mars and working on the architecture for other planets. I believe he is our next Tolkien. These kids, they are our future. They are the reason why I am teaching, because I want to help inspire them to keep doing what they are doing so that they can be successful in the future. No matter what is taken away from the internet, I am going to teach my students the facts about science. That is what they deserve. With these facts and the true curiosity for science, I am going to inspire my students to go into STEM. Before I leave you today, I want to leave you with a quote from Dr. Anil Kumar Sinha. The future belongs to the curious, the ones who are not afraid to try it, explore it, poke at it, question it, and turn it inside out. Thank you, and happy birthday.